Hey gang, Troy Dean here, and just got off a call with one of our Mavericks Club members, and we were talking about how to produce great shareable content to bring in inbound organic leads, and also then have a great piece of content that you can use in your paid advertising strategies and to share this content with joint venture partners. So the whole purpose of this video is to walk you through, there's two parts, I wanna walk you through how to decide on the piece of content that you're going to produce and then I'm going to give you a framework to produce that piece of content and the beauty of this is you're going to end up with a great piece of content that you can share with people that is not spammy at all it's super super helpful it positions you as an authority and other people are going to share it and it's going to bring the right kind of clients and leads into your business regardless of what business you're in or what it is you're selling so Here's the framework. The first thing is we're gonna decide what piece of content we're gonna produce. This is the framework I go through all the time. So the first thing is decide on the product or the service that you are that you wanna promote. So every piece of content should tie back to a product or a service that you are promoting. And in this case, we're gonna be promoting our SEO plans, okay? Because the Mavericks Club member that I was talking about, this is the example, so I'm gonna use that example. So we're gonna be promoting SEO, okay? So we have our SEO plans might range from you know, a thousand to four thousand dollars a month for us to run SEO for a client. So the first thing you want to do then is decide, work out what are the three big outcomes that the client is going to receive. The three big outcomes the client's going to get from you running their SEO. So it doesn't matter. Again, whatever business you're in, this is where you need to do the creative thinking and go right. If we're in event planning business, what are the three big outcomes that our clients get from working with us? Just whatever you do, all your services and deliverables and the things that you do for your clients, chunk that into three kind of biggest outcomes. And if you don't know what they are, talk to your existing clients because they'll tell you. Peace of mind is probably a common thing that comes up. Okay, then within those three big outcomes, what are the three stepping stones that we need to reach within each of those outcomes. So in order to achieve the three big outcomes, we need to do X, Y, Z to get to that outcome, and then X, Y, Z to get to that outcome. And so what happens is you end up with nine stepping stones that help you achieve three big outcomes. And I'll walk you through an example of this in a moment. Then what you wanna do is you wanna choose the sexiest one thing to teach in this content, in the piece of content that we're gonna develop, right? So here's the example. We are doing SEO for clients and these are the stepping stones up here and these are the outcomes here, okay? I'll just switch colors. So the outcomes for with us running SEO for a client is that your website visitors are going to have an excellent user experience. All right, that is going to be, now I'm just kind of making these up and I'm spitballing on the fly, but excellent user experience is going to be an outcome that you receive for your website and for your customers. Now the second big outcome that you're gonna achieve is an increase in time on site. And we all know that a great user experience is gonna keep your visitors on your site longer, and we all know that the longer they are on your site, the more likely they are to convert. So you're also gonna get an increased conversion rate, which is really what we want. That's the biggest outcome we want, is an increased conversion rate. But that comes down to keeping people on the site longer, and that is all tied into a user experience. Again, I'm just making these up, these are just examples. So how do we design a great user experience? Well, the first thing we do is we've got to make sure that we're targeting the right keywords because we don't want to bring irrelevant traffic to your website that aren't interested in your product or service, right? If you're a wedding planner, we don't want corporate planning, co corporate event planning people visiting your website. We want bride-to-be's visiting your website. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've got your on-page optimization right. Okay, we're gonna optimize every page on the website following SEO best practices. And the third thing we're gonna do is of course, we're going to make your website super mobile friendly because we know search engines prefer mobile friendly sites. Okay, now in order to increase the time on site, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that your site has super relevant content related 
to those keywords. There's no point bringing someone in for a particular keyword and then having content that's not relevant to that keyword. The second thing we're gonna do is make sure that your internal links are built out between your articles and your videos and your infographics and your slide decks on your website to keep people on your site longer so the breadcrumbs make sense. And the third thing we're gonna do is we're going to make sure we've got great navigation on your website. Now that might seem super obvious, but you can do things like suggested posts and recommended posts underneath posts. Just make sure the navigation is a really good experience to keep people on site longer. And then in order to increase your conversion rate, we're going to make sure that your website is super, super fast loading because we know that really impacts your search rankings. Um, so we use lazy loading images and those kinds of things. The second thing we're gonna do here is make sure that your calls to action across your website are super targeted. So every post and every page has a call to action that's relevant to that keyword and that particular content. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use exit pop-ups to increase that conversion rate. Now, technically speaking, these things are not really SEO, but we're just gonna offer that as part of our SEO plan. Now, instantly you can see, if you're considering buying SEO plans, you'd probably buy them from me because I've got a process here and I've got three big outcomes that are relevant for you as the customer. And you can see that we've got a process that we go through. So once you've done this, and again, just do this imagining that you're teaching your team how to deliver these outcomes for this product or service, right? So team, this is what we do to deliver these outcomes under this product for a customer. These are the things that we have to do. And again, there's lots of detail within each of these, but this is an overarching um, overview, right? And again, I'm just making these examples up, so please feel free to flame me if you think I've got it wrong. The point of this is we've now got nine topics that we can talk about, nine pieces of content that we can develop that all lead to a product. So we're not posting rogue content or random content. This content is strategic for a particular product. What I'm gonna do is choose the sexiest one thing to teach, and then I'm gonna show you a content framework to produce any piece of content based on what it is. And what I'm gonna choose here is this thing here, on-page optimization, because I know that this is the topic out of all of these that gets the most search results and the most kind of sharing on social. This is the thing that people wanna learn how to do themselves. So that's the topic that I'm going to choose to produce a piece of content. And in the next part of this video right now, I'm gonna show you the framework to turn that into a great piece of content that people will share and that will bring leads in for your business. Okay, so now you've decided the piece of content that you're going to teach out of your whole framework. You've got nine potential pieces of content. You've chosen the one sexiest thing that you think people are gonna to respond to and that's gonna attract the most kind of attention. Uh, this is the framework. I shared this recently in a content creation framework video, but there's one twist in this framework, so pay attention. The first thing you wanna do is outline the promise of this piece of content. Doesn't matter if it's a video, a blog post. You'll notice at the start of this video, I said, in this video, you're going to learn blah, 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 blah. That's the big promise. So in this case, you'd say, hey, in this article or in this video, you're gonna learn how to use on-page optimization to make sure that a page on your website is optimized for the right kind of keywords in search engines, okay? So you can attract more high-qualified leads to your website. Perfect, people want that, so they're more likely to pay attention. Then you just outline the problem. And so you might say, hey, the problem is search engine traffic is really competitive and, you know, um, it, it's, you know, there's lots of competition, so um, it, you, you don't wanna waste time optimizing your website for the wrong keyword, and you don't wanna waste time doing that research on the right keyword, and then not doing on-page on optimization because you won't bring in the traffic. So just outline the problem that they've currently got. You haven't got enough leads because you can't be found on search engines, and there's a very simple fix for that. Then you wanna bust a myth. And in this case, again, I'm just making this up, but the myth might be that you might just think you can install a free WordPress plugin and that's gonna automatically optimize your website. And it might do a little bit, but there's still some stuff that you have to pay attention to manually. Then what you'd wanna do is just very quickly say your story to position yourself as why they should listen to you. And so in, in this case, you might say, look, I've been running SEO for clients for over three and a half years. and Most of our clients have page one rankings and you know, uh, then you might just say, hey, below this article, you'll find a testimonial from James, who's one of our SEO customers. Then you wanna teach. Now, here's the thing. We're only teaching one thing. We're teaching on-page optimization. But what you wanna do is you wanna teach this and you wanna give absolutely everything you know about on-page optimization away in this one piece of content. You wanna give away the farm, give the shirt off your back and make it as epic as possible. And the way to do that is to use 
as many different modalities and as much different kind of media formats as you can. So you wanna use video wherever possible because then you've got something you can optimize and put on share on YouTube. You wanna use images or infographics as much as you possibly can because then you've got something you can share on Insta or Pinterest or whatever platform and you've also got some alt text that you can optimize there, right? Uh, the next thing you wanna do is obviously use text to describe the process that you go through to do on-page optimization. And again, build this piece of content as if you're teaching a team member. You wanna make this so damn good that you only have to make it once and it answers all of the questions. Then of course you want to use uh, screen shots or screen sharing or screen casting, you know, using like Camtasia or screen flow or a loom video to show people how to do it on the screen then you want to use checklists that they can download and then of course you want to use some kind of template that they can download and tick off and follow so you want to make it as epic as possible and as easy as possible for the user your reader to read that content and go wow i can't believe you've given me that much information for free you clearly are the authority and thank you for giving me that free information that's super helpful then just give them a couple of do's and don'ts. So this is like uh, power users might give them an, an advanced tip. Now, if you've been doing this for a long time, here's an advanced tip you might not know about. And here is a rookie mistake. If you're new to this, don't do this because it'll hurt you SEO for this reason. Then here's the kicker. What you want to do now is you want to reveal that this is just one part of your process. So at this point you might say in the blog post or the video or whatever, you might say, hey, I hope you found this really helpful to help you understand on-page optimization. But what you've got to remember is that this is just one part of a bigger process. And that bigger process is the nine bullet points that we mapped out in the previous video. So this works, but it only works if you're targeting the right keywords. And if your website is super mobile friendly because more than half web traffic comes from mobile. And it only works if you're paying attention to the user experience and how much time people are spending on your website. And that's through relevant content and internal linkings and on and on and on. And then you wanna have targeted call to actions. You wanna make sure you're using some exit pop-ups and blah, 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 blah. You're not teaching them how to do any of that stuff. You're just showing them that this is one part of an overall process. You've already proven that you know your stuff by teaching this one thing in great painstaking detail, but it's only one part of the bigger process. So the call to action is this. So you've got a choice. You can figure this out yourself and you can spend the next 12 months or 18 months on YouTube and reading blog posts like this and figure it out yourself. Or if you're in a hurry and you just want a result and you want to get this done, you can book a call to see if we're a good fit, work with us and we can help you do this in the business. It doesn't matter what business you're in, if you're selling services of any kind to other businesses, this is a fantastic framework to produce what we call cornerstone content that people will share and it's strategic because it, these two pieces here mean that it leads to some kind of call to action to sell a particular service. So it's not just content for the sake of it, it's content that actually leads to an inquiry and a sale. So hey, I hope you found this super helpful. If you're not already a member of the Digital Mavericks Facebook group, just go to facebook.com, search for the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. There's a whole bunch of more training and checklists and templates and screenshots and infographics and PDFs in that group that you can download to help you. I look forward to seeing you in there and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Stay curious and make some noise.